Good evening, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is going to be our review of Green Book. Yep. Now, we it has been out for a week, and it was came out over the Thanksgiving holiday for us here in the States. And because of the holiday and everything else, we didn't get the chance to see it. And then we saw it last night at a really late showing, and we wanted to give it some time instead of rushing through a review. <laughs> and it was late. It was late, and we wanted to make sure that we gave it some proper time to both dissect and some proper time to talk about is that a good way of putting all of this sure and if you're only it was late and it was late (laughs) really is what it came down to uh it is the story of tony lip and dr don shirley and their trip from new york to the midwest and then down to the deep Deep south South. as uh don shirley was a black classically trained piano player yep. and uh that's in the early 60s in the early 60s Six, i think it said 1962 yeah was the first scene yep um overall how'd you feel about this <laughs> well i liked it i thought it was uh, the performances were awesome it was um we talked about it after we saw it that we were kind of like you know i really want to see this but it's kind of um I don't know that depressing is the right word, but, you know, subject matter that makes you angry. And right, right. we weren't exactly looking forward to seeing it, but it was funny and sad and happy and angry. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was it was all of that. I, I we we have talked about some of the movies that I struggled to go to is the subject matter that makes you. put emotion into you to make you upset because of what happened right in in period or in stories or whatever and and i I really didn't want to see this but everybody's saying how good it was i like crying laughing a couple times yeah and then crying crying a couple times (laughs) and then just straight up like i i'm i'm with tony a lot during the movie tony's way of solving something is with his fists and i would have been very hard for me not to solve things with my fists <laughs> in, in some of the situations that they were in yeah yeah and uh yeah. i go ahead no that's fine uh, the 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 two things that we're going to talk about probably the most is the two main actors vigo mortensen who played tony tony lip and Al- Marshala. Ali. Marshala Ali. <laughs> We've been trying for three days to say his name the right way, and I'm sorry if we didn't do it the right way, um, as Dr. Shirley. And and their performances are really what carry this movie to make it uh, more than just a have to watch for the subject matter. You actually want to watch yeah. them do these performances and be able to show their range yeah, because most of the movie is either one of them or both of them together. I mean, at least half of the movie is them traveling in their... S- <laughs> Driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in reverse. In reverse, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're, you know, it's their performances and their interaction yeah. with each other. Yeah. And then, you know, there's a lot of scenes with either Dr. Shirley by himself, which are pretty powerful, or Tony by himself, which yeah, are powerful. Yeah. So, uh, Both of these gentlemen will probably be in the conversation for an Oscar nomination. However, I I feel that Viggo Mortensen maybe is a step above um, Marshala Ali. <laughs> uh, but it's... And, and it's part of it is because the way Viggo is able, able to keep that New York Guinea kind of feel all the way through, even though he learns the way he was taught is not correct. Yeah. And, and we talked about on the way home, like Tony's not a dumb person. Tony's a very smart person. Yeah. He's just undereducated. And he was raised in a culture where you call black people the N word or eggplant or whatever. And you kind of, you had this culture of 
cultural uh, that's not right the, you have a culture of group racism because everybody feels that way right because you don't have people of a different race in in your in your in your group right and learn having watching tony go through that process of learning really what it means to be black yeah and in the deep south is why i think vigo it's so much better than anybody else outside of bradley cooper this year I thought him and Marshalla were pretty equal. I thought he did an amazing job as well. Yeah. So I, I felt like they were. I, yeah. I, I, I get, I get that argument. I just think Vigo was better. I just, okay. you know, if, All right. if I have to pick a one and two, okay, one and one A, <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do it that way. They, they, uh, the costuming is so well done, and the, uh, there's a shot that they do. When they're leaving New York, I think it's the Brooklyn Bridge. Probably, mm, no, because it's it's too, two stories, so I don't know. And it's too new, right? Because so, the Brooklyn Bridge is so really the, old. So the the idea is, uh, Tony and Don Shirley are in one Cadillac, yeah. and the other two members of the Don Shirley trio are in another Cadillac, and they are matching Cadillac, Match- matching Cadillacs, <laughs> and brand new, nineteen sixty two. Like, I don't know where they found these matching Cadillacs, but they're leaving New York over the bridge. Yeah. And they show, like, a drone shot panned down to the two Cadillacs. And I'm yeah. like, how? Because all the cars on the bridge are correct. Yeah. So they had to have digitally taken them all out and everything. But it was just, yeah, it was such a cool yeah. shot. Yeah. And I when they first pulled up to, so Dr. Shirley lives above Carnegie Hall, which is pretty appropriate because he's this classically trained um, pianist. And uh, Tony pulls up in this Cadillac that the record company had um, rented for them. And he pulls up behind the exact duplicate Cadillac. And I'm like, what did... (laughs) The person who owned one was like, they're a, they're a pair. You need to figure out. Because there was really no other point to having. Because after halfway through the first day or whatever, the other two take like kind of go on their own way. Yeah. 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 And they hook up at the different venues. Yeah. But it was like, yeah, somebody was like, that, I have two. They can't be split up. You need to find a place I, for both m- of them in this movie. My, my <laughs> one complaint was the two band members. Like they're 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 not even the secondary characters. Characters are like fourth layer characters who have an important part at the end. At the end, they have an important part. Uh, there's uh, and, okay. There's a couple of different points yeah. in the movie, but but the point wasn't the Don Shirley trio. The point was well, right. The two was of them. Two of them. Right. Right. On I just this... it, it's my like I said. It's really stupid. It's a really small complaint, but it's it's the one thing that I just I, I didn't. F- feel like they were necessarily needed as much as they were in it yeah and that's and that's dumb and stupid because the movie overall is amazing yeah Yeah. uh the one other thing that i want to talk about is um marshala ali i'm getting close marshala marshala ali i would like to know and, and i haven't seen anything if he's the one actually playing the piano right because the scenes They show, um, especially the first performance, but as they go along, different performances as they go along, he they show his full body and him playing the piano, and the stuff that he's playing is not easy. Yeah, he does a Chopin in in a bar, (laughs) and I mean it's like his fingers are blurs on the piano keys. So I thought for I thought in the first performance that. Um, they like CGI'd his head on the piano player's body, mm-hmm. uh, but I just I, that was the only thing I could think of. Yeah, and if that's what they did, they did a really they good did a job, great job because of it. I right. couldn't. Or tell. he actually plays. He can actually play Chopin. Like that's that's the only other thing that. Yeah, or I mean, and like we talked about, he could have practiced certain sections, and it's not necessarily him playing as far as the audio, but. You know, it has the hand movement. He's down. got the hand movements the down. The choreography enough. of it, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. that For would make sense. Sections, yeah. but I don't know. The, there's more than one time that I was kind of doing the whole kind of thing, uh, but 
for a period piece dealing with racism in the South, you will enjoy the movie and feel for the two of them Mm -hmm. and feel for both uh, Shirley's struggle, not only being black, but also having not being being a well-to-do black in the 60s. Mm -hmm. Well, and there's the scene um, that's in the previews where they're standing in the rain and he says, I'm not black enough for you. I'm not white enough for you. You know, what do you, what do you want? And that's really kind of his struggle. (laughs) Right. He's kind of, uh, kind of alone. Yeah. And uh, they did a really good thing at the end. It's not really a spoiler. It's, it's a known story, but uh, Tony and Don Shirley became became friends on this two month trip and then were friends very good friends for, for the, the rest. rest of their lives yep. until they both died within months of each other yeah. in 2013 i think is what it said yeah something like uh, that and it just a really kind of cool um story to tell that's not very well known and yeah so, yeah uh overall we both really liked it score 4.25 i was at a four uh, and the reason I'm at a four for me is the band, like I said. We took off a whole point for that. Wow. Well, I, I, okay. <laughs> you, I was I'm at a score. I was. I'm you're totally score shaming. I was at a four point two five two. But as we sat here and talked about it, I the one thing I did struggle with was that. Okay. I was at a five, uh, for m- almost all of the movie. And then I started th- actually really th- sitting down and thinking about it. And I don't know if it's a perfect movie for me. Yeah. For yeah. me. I've had one perfect movie this year and we've talked about it a bunch. Uh, but, and it will, I'm not giving away anything. It's going to probably be my number one movie of the year. Right. So. Right. But it was, I, I thought it was an awesome movie. Yeah. I hope it wins a bunch of awards. I hope it wins a bunch <laughs> of awards and go support this movie. We actually went and saw it in the st- smallest theater in our, in our theater complex and it was full on a late showing on a tuesday yeah or wednesday, wednesday. on a wednesday yep. and so and, and with full commentary from the guy sitting next to me <laughs> he's gonna be at the door <laughs> <laughs> it's her on the phone <laughs> is, it, is this widows this is black panther <laughs> going back to the story we we're talking about oh yeah the interactive culturally appropriate <laughs> It, it was it was a it's a good movie go see it support movies like this what did you guys think of green book i was i forgot what it was called what <laughs> green book let us know leave us a comment like this video and subscribe to the channel tell us uh what you think of the movie and share this channel with all of your friends we're doing a really good job with that everybody so keep doing that all of our social media stuff is in the bio in the bio i need to speak better all right <laughs> We were being classy until now. Uh. Good night, cult members.